So hey guys, I'm going to be using a subscriber made intro until I feel like changing it. Hope y'all enjoy. So hey guys, this video is for all the new people who just came into the game and don't know how to play. I'm just going to give you all the basic information you need and I like a look a level up help. Help you level up look a faster. So on the basic screen when you just spawn in, this is what you're going to see. This is your help bar, this is your EXP bar, you would see it go up every time you complete a quest. And this is your stamina bar. It only drains the orange bar is your stamina bar. It only drains when you're blocking. So only when you block it drains. The blue bar is your mana bar. It only drains when you use your magic okay, spells. Remember more. No. Just to make you know how to do stuff in the game. When you just join the game, you're spawning with a book. You're spawning with a grimoire, so you don't need to do anything to get a grimoire. You press E to pull out your grimoire and you can press E again to put it back. You press R to bring up your fist. So this is how you fight. If you don't have any weapon equip, you press R to put it back. You press F to pull out your sword if you have a sword equip and you press F to put it back. If you already have up R, when you already press R, you cannot press F to bring your sword. It doesn't work like that. You press C to carry anybody who is knock and you press B to grip. Now, anytime you go into a game, you press M. But M is all, most likely always the menu, right? So now, when you press M, the menu come up, you see a level, you see a name, you see a race, you see a trait, you see a you snap. Your snap is your magic, your grimoire. So now, races. You have human, they don't get anything. You have my race. Jacon, it gives you more health. You have Noble Race, it gives you more magic amount. You have Elf Race, that gives you more mana, so you have more mana down here, not here. And you have a race, a X Call Race, that gives you more cleverness. And you have a next race that um gives you more speed, so you run faster than everybody else. Traits now Blade Master. My trait it gives me more damage. You have a next trait that's called resilient. It gives it make your stamina bar drain two times slower. And elfin blood gives you a mana buff. So if you're elf and you have elfin blood too, you're full of mana, you're good, you're govern. Game addict that gives you a 1.5 times exp boots all the time. So that race always gives you extra exp no matter what you have smith trait and that trait is give you a 10 percent extra success rate when you're doing smithing no that's all for the the trait there's no more traits your snaps you have dark snap which is my snap you have light snap fire snap water snap wind snap and frost snap Frost is fairly new and it's very good, so you know. All of the snaps are good. Physical strength, no. This stats right here, your physical strength, if it's full like mine, you do a lot of physical damage. Your magic amount, if it's low like mine, you have a lot you do have a lot of mana. This determines how much mana you have. Snap control, I'm not sure what snap control do. But I guess it helps you control how you use your magic if you cast faster, if you if you have something go more accurate, I'm not sure. Cleverness helps you to unlock your spells. So if you have a if you have less than this, you take longer to unlock your spells unlike me. Now over here with the icons, everybody know the setting icons. This is where you come turn off your music, your screen shake, your damage and others. Your damage and others is useful because when you Doing boss raids, you can turn it off so you don't damage people who is not in your party. 
the blade icon now is this is where all the swords are and i think i think that you should go in there too cart the cart wheel <laughs> shopping cart icon you can respin your stats your race your snap your trait your face and your hair so if you don't like your hair or your face you can respin it this shield icon now is your armor whatever clothes you wear or have it's going to in here this eye icon this is your d-dex it have all the information on everything you learn in the game from mobs to spells to quests and places where you go right and you get d points and you can convert it to exp this box or bookshelf looking thing it hold all the items that you have so if you have your items and you want to use them you come in here and you use them the people icon that's how you create your party and this one your party no to tell you how to equip your sword see i just unequip it when you just get your sword you go in this and you double click your sword to equip it and you double click it to unequip it right same thing goes for your army you double click it if you want to equip it and you double click it if you want to unequip it or you can just go to the next armor and equip it if you want to change your armor now when you just come in game you can spawn here or down there and most likely you spawn down here right there like i'm already here this is a guild master you talk to your guild master to get your quest and i think you get yeah you get the points for that so that go in your inventory and you have that when you're getting peoples and papers like this you come to him with them carried and you talk to him and it, i guess them he throw in the jail jail and give him money i can't even talk <laughs> sorry about that. so now this is your quest board you take your quest you have wolf quest dire wolf quest and labyrinth right here is your mana potions you have medium and you have small i suggest you get the medium don't make no sense you get the small now you have your health potion and your small health potion the medium and the small there is no large yet i guess large it look like this this is a teleportation crystal so you teleport to where you want to go this is where you buy armor these are the guys armor this give you like 30 defense and 2 speed this gear like 10 defense and like 3 speed this is the woman armory and i haven't used it i'm not a girl so you know all right so here you buy your shield your great sword your spear and a regular sword you don't talk to this person he doesn't talk he's just there making that golden sword that nobody can buy you come over here and you talk to this anvil yes you talk to it you come and you can build up your sword get your sword stronger and each time you go up, each time you upgrade it you get a higher chance of failure but with the smith trait no matter how high you go you already have 10 percent off so it's a somewhat a sale you know all right so here guys i realized when i editing this i didn't say this but to obtain your magic skills you have to first reach level 10 for the first skill 25 for the second 40 for the third and 65 for the fourth so you have to reach level 10 to unlock any magic skill at all to see what skill you unlock when you come up on your, your screen you press the toggly toggly line at number one beside number one and this come up and these are all your pages you click on the spell you unlock and you bind it to whatever key you want and you just press it when you're buying it to use your magic now you have to take out your grimoire right and then you press one if it's one and your magic shoot and you can use your mouse to aim to block now whether you're in r or with f you right click your mouse to block so you see your my stamina draining that's how you block all right back to the video <laughs> So just to show you the wolf quest and give you some tips you take the wolf quest right i don't have to take it 
it's not going to help me level up you take the wolf quest and you come all the way down here Remember what I told you, you press F to take out your sword or you press R to use your fist. Whichever one you take out first, you cannot change it within battle. You have to take it off and then put on the next one. So now when you're fighting the wolves, you just go around them. You won't get hit if you do this. You see how much damage I do? It don't matter about my level. But yeah, you do this quest until you're level 15. Then you go do the dire wolf quest. You take the quest and you just go where I'm going. Alright, so the dire wolf is spawned. So then you get the quest, he normally up there, but because somebody's here, it's here. So then you go for the dire wolf. You can do the same thing, but yeah, that move, the hole, it paralyzes you, you cannot move. But that's one thing you can do. You go around, hit him, hit him, hit him, or shoot some spells, and anytime he's going to do the hole, you block. You block and it don't take any effect and you can do this quest until you're like what level 50 or, or more depends on how long you want to grind for you, do, you go up to level 50 and then you get the labyrinth quest and you follow me where i am going i should have taken that quest could i get a level anyways you take that quest and you just follow where i am going Just a tip, be careful when you run into not go down there because you won't be getting up back. We make suggestions for them to have double jump or even wall climb so we can come out of holes like that. Did they just kill all the works? Yeah, but this is where the labyrinth is. When you go in there, these guys will attack you. No party. Alright, so the labyrinth now, let me just show you how to go around. When you come in the labyrinth, if you don't have room in a spell, it's going to be very hard for you to go in because especially at night in here get really really dark. So as soon as you enter the labyrinth, labyrinth, you take a right. Then you take an immediate left, you go straight, a left, then a right, you go straight, then a left, then a left, then a right. Then you go right again, then a left, and you go straight to where the candle is, and then you jump down. You just go straight down. If you have the orcs quest, you can continue killing orcs if the door closed like no. Or you just wait until you can go in, and then... You kill the orcs in there because them spawn like three times before you kill them depends on your level. But yeah, that's basically it. You can do the orc quest until you're like level 10, level 110, you know? Because even to right now, I'm like level 81 on one quest. Sometimes two give me like one level. So. You can do it up until level 100 or level 110 because there was a dude that was doing it and him just reach level 10 and then he move on to the next town. So if you want to level fast I suggest that way because the work quest is not really 
too hard to handle but without the quest you won't get much exp i don't think you get the exp at all without the quest so you have to be the level to get it or higher so hey guys i hope all the information that i relate to you guys help you out in any form or way and if it did or if you learned something that you didn't know just like and subscribe and suggest some videos that you want to see in this game and i will try to work on some and put out for you guys